Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about graffiti. I'm so excited, do you know what graffiti art is? I do. Let's learn about it together, <laughs> so come on. Come on. What is graffiti art? Graffiti is when artists would write their name or some images on different surfaces that are outside. So like a train or a brick wall, so everyone could see it. They evolved from very simple quick writing to some really cool elaborate bubble letters and block letters. And as you can see, it's turned into some really fun images too. We are gonna create art today, like two special artists. The first one, his name is James Goldcrown. Look at these cool hearts. He created this image in a graffiti style on walls. And because he's a fashion designer, he's now in some really cool fashion. The next artist is Chris Riggs. Check his out, very similar with all the colors and overlapping design. However, he would use words. So you can see in this image, he used the word love. So let's create art like these two special artists. I can create art like the two artists, James Goldcrown and Chris Riggs. Let's get ready. Pick four different colors, two shapes, and two inspirational words. All right, we both chose our four colors and we each have our black. Ready to fold paper? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start by folding our paper in half. Give it a crease. Boop. Maybe you need a partner. Okay, and then leave it like that, mm -hmm. and then you can fold it up, meet the top there. And then give that a crease. Good, and then when we open it, we have four sections. Kind of like a comic book. It is like a comic book. <laughs> Four sections, like quadrants. Perfect. Now we're ready. So we need, remember, two shapes and two words. We have pre-planned our two shapes and two words, so we're going to start drawing. And you can pause the video to make sure what shapes and um, words you want. To yeah, that sounds great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one color and then repeat with just that color. Or you could just do your square. So I'm gonna start with my first shape, triangle. And what I'm doing, you can go ahead and start. Okay. <laughs> is I'm going to try to balance. Is it okay if I do like the words like yeah. different yeah. ways? Yeah, you could <laughs> twist and turn your shapes and words. So I'm going to try to balance out my shapes so it looks like they're kind of all over the place. And then when you do your next color, you can always do overlapping. So you I can, chose. You can always ask um, somebody or a grown up to um, help you spell a word or anything. Yes, that's why we pre planned, right? So we yeah. get our words right. I chose an organic shape. Remember that it doesn't have a sharp edge or a name, and a triangle. And then I chose the word. Peace and the word art. Art. Lila is using the word kind, as you can see. <laughs> I'm still my word. That's great. On the... And we're just gonna keep going, keep layering as we change colors. All right, friends, the next step is to write our name like a graffiti artist. So as you can see, Lila is using a pencil and drawing bubble letters. Very I'm gonna, light. Very lightly, and I'm gonna draw block letters. So we're gonna use a black, and we're gonna carefully draw our letters. I'm gonna do my first name. So you can see them, and then we can color them in with the black. 
and add some fun details. So carefully take your time, like we said, if you want to start with a pencil, that's just fine. And then go over it with your black and see how the black covers up a little bit, just enough so you can see your name. And you have a choice to color it in or we can add some fun outlines to your name like a graffiti artist so I'm gonna outline it like this give it some fun swirls around the edge I'm gonna out. polka dots my Y will be fun at the bottom because it has to like go out. Oh, very cool, yes. I can't wait to see all the different names, how they turn out. Do some dash lines in there. I'm making even, I'm even adding some shapes on this side. Wonderful. You gotta... Yeah, looks great. So we sectioned our paper into fours. And then we used any type of letters to make our name. And then we outlined our name. Yeah, so we could stand out. And we chose some fun words. What words did you use, Lila? I used kind and fun. And I think you used peace and art. So choose any words you like and any shapes. Remember repeating and overlapping, something we've talked about before. And come draw graffiti with us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>